games in Seoul, Korea. In 1987 at the European Championships, she also won three individual titles. And with so many honors already in her possession, Kathy asked Daniela what accomplishment she's most proud of. I am glad of my own and my team's successes, but more than anything else, I am pleased with winning three Olympic gold medals. And to me, 1987 was as gratifying as the year of the Olympics. Again, we're in the third rotation. Daniela competing in the balance beam. Besides being so physically talented, those medals come from consistency during competition and nerves of steel in a pressuring situation like she is right now. This is a great event for Danielle. She doesn't tend to be loose in the ankles or upper body. Getting ready for her tumbling series, one of the requirements. Back handspring, two layout, and she just nails that landing. She plants herself securely. Here's her dance element. Something that is being stressed a great deal on the floor exercise and balance beam, much more so than in the past. Light break there. Just off to the side a little bit. This routine must last a minute 10 to a minute 30. There's her acrobatic gymnastic combination, gymnastic meaning dance elements. Her full turn requirement. We are getting down to the wire, however, and those little bobbles really may determine who wins the all around here. And getting ready for her dismount now. Double back. Very good landing, just a couple of bobbles in that routine. And like as we mentioned in the past, the secret of a great gymnast is to make every move look effortless. That's not to take anything away from the fact that these moves require precision, timing, and strength. And that margin for error is, is just so slight. Daniela's score, 9.925, and that's good enough to move her into first place after three rotations. As we mentioned, these championships are located at a very famous site. In 1958, the World's Fair was held here. The focal point was a giant aluminum structure known as the Atomium, a reproduction of the molecule filled with exhibits that still stands today. Now, something far less conspicuous but equally gigantic in mass can be found behind the doors of Coat Door. It's specially chocolate, and lots of it. This factory produces 180 tons of the sweet stuff daily. That's the equivalent weight of a 767 jumbo jet loaded to capacity. Now, it takes two days to make the finished product from raw material. And after 20 hours of arduous mixing, the chocolate finally hits the assembly line. The byproduct of 20 tons of hazelnuts, 40 tons of cocoa beans, 70 tons of sugar, 20 tons of milk, 30 tons of butter, and get this no preservatives. And the finished product. Now, Kathy, I don't know too much about gymnastics, but let me tell you something about this chocolate. I... Mm. It raised a perfect 10. But do you know anything about manners? Do you have any oh, more? Oh, I'm sorry. My, what would my mother <laughs> say you. about me? Here's a fresh one. <laughs> this stuff is good, though. Well, I don't know if Svetlana Boganskaya has a sweet tooth, but she can't afford one right now. She's next up on the balance beam. Boganskaya, this again in the third rotation. But let's go back and look at the battle for fourth place. Well, Romania's Gabriel Poderak scored the highest mark of the day on the vault with a 9.987 which again establishes the strength and depth of the Romanian team, a force to be reckoned with at the upcoming World Championships. Now just behind Poderek, Henrietta Onati charmed the audience with her floor exercise. The judges weren't as enthusiastic, giving her her lowest mark of the day with a 9.837. And so it is Boganskaya along with Romania's Daniela Silovas and Olga Strasheva of the Soviet Union who are waging the battle for first place. This is Svetlana Boganskaya. 
and she throws caution to the wind with that front flip mount. Lots of risk there. And with all the butterflies she must be feeling after watching Siliva, she's nailing this balance beam routine so far. The dance combination here. Great lines. Really focusing on the end of that beam without breaking lines. Here showing a level change, another new requirement on the balance beam. Something very classical about her performance. And those long lines, those long legs and arms are really shown off here. Another requirement there, the full turn. And she's handling the pressure so well. Years of experience paying off. So far, no fault at all. You can see the concentration. A little preparation now. She tries to get all the way to the end of the beam to get enough momentum and space to execute this dismount. And you don't get much better than that. Svetlana needed a score of better than 9.975 to overtake Daniela Silovas. And watch this mount again. It takes a tremendous amount of upper body lift to get up and over on that beam, all the while trying to stay straight on that narrow apparatus. And the mark for Boganskaya, 9.975, and that puts her in a tie with Daniela Silovas of Romania. So after three rotations, the standings look like this, and let's remember that Olga Strasheva of the Soviet Union very much in the title hunt. Now the fourth rotation. This is Strasheva on the balance beam. Truly one of the most innovative gymnasts in the competition. Slight break there, but she covered up well. She has lots of difficulty and beautiful dance. And watch this move. One-arm handstand. Not quite held long enough. And she does a pirouette under herself right to her back. And that shows the level change. And Kathy, she appears to be a fearless gymnast. She's not afraid to try a new wrinkle or add a new wrinkle to her routine if she needs to. Well, in this day and age, you really can't be afraid to do that. Although, on that particular leap, she's a little too cautious, holding back somewhat. And you see what it does? It gets your balance off just slightly. There it is again. You really have to go for every move. And again, this was the event in the 88 Olympic Games where she injured her knee. And that could be in the back of her mind. You know, with the difficulty level where it is, there's a lot more danger involved in all these moves. And in competition, when the adrenaline is running as it is, you just become that much stronger. And sometimes that throws the timing off. But let's see how she executes the dismount. Big step over-rotated there, just slightly. Now to get full credit for this one-arm handstand, she should have held it for at least two seconds. Nonetheless, the second part is so impressive. She has to maintain her balance, but her hips, her shoulders, all of that has to stay directly over the balance beam. Olga score 9.80, so after all four rotations, 39.612, the mark that Silovas and Boganskaya will have woman Daniela Silovas about to decide who will be crowned the European all-around gymnastics champion. And if both gymnasts hit their routines, it's going to be a tough decision for the judges. You're going to see two completely different styles. Silivas, still somewhat of a pixie, has matured and a real crowd pleaser. There's a combination tumbling run. She'll make one pass going this way towards us and then completely turn it around, punch front, right into another round of back hamstring, double twist again. Remember, Daniela and Boganskaya were tied after three rotations, and Svetlana Boganskaya is still to perform in the floor exercise as well. 